Hey, what's up tech fans and gamers? Today, we're gonna bring you something you guys have all been asking for. A full-on hardcore gaming system for under $3,000. That's right. Today, we bring you the ultimate gearbox for $2,500. Now, soon coming up, Borderlands 2 is a game's gonna be coming out. Our Diablo 3 system that we built was more geared for low-end. This is geared for extremely high-end gaming, and it's got top-end parts all the way through the thing, including the OS, lots of cool parts, SLI, just a lot of totally killer gaming parts inside this $2,500 system. So let's now check out this new gearbox and see what it's all about. So let's first start off with the case. Many of you guys in the past have said you guys love the Cooler Master Half X Full Tower case, so that's going to be the case we're using. It's coming to market at about $185. Next up, we'll go to the power supply. We're using the Seasonic Platinum 1000 watt PSU, which will be plenty of power for either your EVGA GTX cards in SLI, or if you decide to use something else, you can power Crossfire. Also, features the ASUS P8Z77V Deluxe Motherboard, coming to market at about $275. The Intel Core i7 2600K 3.4 GHz quad quartz CPU for $299, which is also really good for overclocking. Many people have been able to get 4.5 on this using air cooling alone, but results do vary. Then we have the VGA cards. Now you guys have always stated in the past that you like the 670 series and you like SLI, so this time we're featuring two EVGA GTX 670 cards in SLI with a total cost of $820, pretty much the most expensive parts on the build. For memory, we have the Corsair Vengeance Blue, 16 gigabyte DDR3, 1600 megahertz memory, which is $100. Now for our boot storage, you guys all know that SSD technology is the main thing. And so that said, we use one of the fastest drives in the market currently available. This is the OCZ Vertex 4. It's a 256 gigabyte SSD coming to market at about $220. Now, as far as your main storage goes, that'll be a Western Digital 1 terabyte black hard drive coming to the market about $120. As far as cooling off the CPU goes, we use an all-in-one closed loop system, which is the Antec Cooler H20620 liquid CPU cooler coming to market at about $60. This should keep your CPU running cool and you can overclock it pretty well. Some people may argue, but I feel a good gaming machine should always have a Blu-ray drive because I like to just watch movies on my computers and they're not that much expensive anyways. So in that case, we chose the Asus Black 12X Blu-ray drive, which is coming to market at about $55. Um, some people consider the OS part of the build. Some people don't. We include it in there just in case you're a person buying a brand new computer. We have Windows 7 Professional for $150. So there you guys have it. This is a full-on hardcore gaming system. Everything, including SLI video cards, SSD, huge power supply, nice case. I mean, it's pretty much the shiznik from top to bottom. So in the comment section below, let me hear what you guys think. I know a lot of you out there are going to say, oh, why did you use that part? You should have used this part. Like always, these are only our suggested builds. You are always your own boss. You have free will. It was given to you by God. So you can go out and buy whatever you want. These are just our suggestions for a killer system. You asked, so we brought it to you. So naysayers, take the day off and give us your positive comments on what you think about this new $2,500 system from us at motherboards.org. Also, if you're really interested in buying this system and you think the parts in here are what you would like, go ahead and look at our link in the description below. It'll tell you all these parts and where to buy them. We'll see you guys back here on motherboards.org.